Hi everyone, welcome back to Singapore Maths Academy and today we're going to look at another one of our videos for our 11 plus mini series. In today's video we're looking at multiplication again and how to multiply a three digit number by a two digit number. So let's jump onto our iPad to see how we can do this. So the first thing is we have this question 315 times 23 and typically what we like to do is we put the smaller number which in this case is 23 or the two digit number on the bottom row and the larger three digit number on the top row so we've got 315 times 23 and just to remind you just like from our last lesson what this actually means is 23 lots of 315s for example or 315 lots of 23s and so if we want to think about this as 315 times 23 such that it means 23 lots of 315s, then what we can do is we can think, what we're really doing is we're doing three times 250, uh, 315, excuse me, add 20 times 315. And all together, we add that together, that will give me 23 lots of 315s. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do using the column um, multiplication method. So let's have a look at this. 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. But this is our 1's column. And 15 has 110. So I'm going to write 5 1's here. I'm going to add the 110 on later. After I find out and figure out how many 10's there are when I multiply 3 times 10. Well, 3 times 10 we know is 30. 3 times 10 is 30. Add the 110. 3 times 10 is 30, add the 1 10 is 4 10s, and therefore it's 40, and so I'm going to put the 4 here. And our final part is 3 times 300. Now, 3 times 3 we know is 9, so 3 times 300 is 900. And so that's why I just put a 9 here, because I know that's in the 100s column, and so we've got 900 there. Our next part is sometimes um, easily forgotten, that we're going to multiply now by... 20. We're going to multiply 315 by 20. Now, when we multiply by any multiple of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 150, whatever it is, we're going to have zero ones. And so when we have zero ones, we have to make sure we put zero in the ones column when we start multiplying by the tens. Right. So I've got five times 20. Five times 20, we know is 100, right? And so that means there are zero tens or we know 10 tens are 100 right but how, why am i putting zero tens then because the 10 tens makes 100 and that 100 is going to go into the the next column excuse me i put in the wrong column there so it's going to be put into next column so i'm going to put 100 here so now i'm going to add that 100 on when i need to when i multiply 2 by 10 is it 2 or is it 20 it's 20 right so 20 times 10, we know, is going to be 200. 20 times 10 is 200, plus the 100 we got from the 1s column, right? That when we multiplied 20 by 5, and therefore I've got 20 times 10 is 200. 200 plus the 100 is 300, so I know the 300 is going to go here, because that's where the 3 um, uh, is going to be, because it's in the 100s column. And then I've got 20 times 300. 20 times 300, that 3 represents 300, right? So 2 times 3 we know is 6. That's going to help us because 2 times 3 is 6. So 20 times 30 is going to be 600, right? But that's not 30, is it? 20 times 300 is going to be 6,000. So this is a 1,000th column. That's quite nice and convenient for us. It's literally the next column. So we could do 2 times 5 is 10. 10, we'll put the 0 here. And then what do we do? Put the zero here and then we put the one here. So that represents the 100 we're going to add on. And then two times one is two again, plus the one, that's three. That's 300, that's the next column. And then we've got two times 300 or two times three is six. And six goes here. But what we really mean is 20 times 300, which is 6,000. And hence this is in the thousands column. And when we add this together, we'll get five ones, four tens, 
900 add 300 into 1200. So the 200 will go on the 200 column and the 1000 I'll add on to 6000, which makes it 7000. So 315 multiplied by 23 is equal to 7245. So it's easy for us to kind of think of it as like two times five, two times one, two times three. But what we have to remind ourselves is not two times, it's 20 times. And it's not three, it's 300. So 20 times 300 gives us 6,000, excuse me. And when we add the extra thousand, we get 7,000 at the end. It's important for us to realize place value, it means something. The two is 20 in this case, the three is 300. If we forget that, we can tend to make mistakes. We can sometimes have answers that are way bigger than they should be or way smaller than they should be because we haven't thought the fact that 20 times um, 300 is going to be 6,000 in this case. We might have put it in the hundreds column or the even the ones column sometimes, right? By accident. Or even something even larger than that. So just be careful with where you're placing your answers, your answers to when you multiply and because it has a major impact on your final answer. We can check our answer. How do I check out my answer? Maybe I could estimate, maybe it could be 300 times 20 or 300 times 25, right? And that way I can just about understand where my answer should be. So I know three times two is six and I've got 20 times um, 300, which makes it 6,000. So my answer should be more than 6,000 because I've got 300 here, which is less than 315. I've got 20 here, which is less than 23. So my answer should be more than 6,000 is what I would have in my mind, okay? And so that will help me decide, is my answer reasonable? I might have made a small mistake. It might have been 7,240, for example, right? But if my answer is something like 25,000, then I know I've done something majorly wrong because my answer should be just above 6,000. And so that's something that we have to also uh, remind ourselves to check if we're unsure at any stage. So that's the end of this video. I hope this benefited you and have a go at some questions that your parents will give you and see if you can multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number.